أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الحمد لله والثناء لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله الله سبحانه وتعالى he says كنتم خير أمة أخرجت للناس تأمرون بالمعروف وتنهونا عن المنكر that we are the best nation the ummah of prophet muhammad is the best nation because they encourage good and they forbid evil however today can we claim that we are the best nation in terms of behavior, character, morality, and all other progresses of human social life. Today, the Muslims number more than 1.2 billion people around the world in Africa, Asia, and America. But with these huge numbers, the quality does not match. However, historically, the Muslims were leaders in every aspect of human civilizations, technologically, educationally, socially, and morally as well. The faith started spreading from the city of Mecca to the rest of the world. The Muslims liberated the countries they conquered from the tyranny, the shackles of injustice, from the Roman and the Byzantine Empire. They did not exploit nor enslave the people, rather they showed Islam through their magnificent actions, excellent behavior, and their tolerance, and their fulfillment of the promises they have made to others. It was Islam that has attracted the hearts of the people in every place around the world. Even though historians are not mentioning this, few historians note that the Muslims were responsible for the agricultural re revolution of the middle century. They invented new technologies and new systems to irrigate their crops. The Muslims invented cash cropping, growing crops for profit, new irrigation system. The Muslims distributed different crops from one region to the other region and they introduced those crops to the modern world. These crops include sorghum, banana, rice, citrus fruits. What during the Muslim agricultural revolution, Muslim science made significant advances in the fields of agronomy, astronomy, botany, earth science, environmental philosophy and environmental science. In particular the experimental scientific method was introduced into the field in the 13th century by the Andalusian. A number of important institutions, previously unknown in the ancient world, have their origin in the medieval Islamic world, with the most notable example being the public hospital and psychiatric hospital, the public library the academic degree granting university, the astronomical observatory as a research institute. First universities which issued diplomas were the Bamaristan Medical University Hospital of the Medieval Islamic World, where medical diplomas were issued to students of Islamic medicine who are qualified 
to be practicing doctors of medicine. Nocina's contributions include the discovery of contagious nature of co infectious diseases, the introduction of quarantine to limit the spread of the contagious diseases, the introduction of experimental medicine and clinical trials, the first description of bacteria and viral organisms, contagious nature of tuberculosis, the distribution of diseases by water and soil, and the first careful description of skin troubles and nervous ailments. The period between the 7th and 13th centuries have been commonly neglected despite the remarkable developments of biomedical sciences of the Islamic world, with the resultant flowering of knowledge that influenced medical practice throughout Europe. Also in the fields of psychology, the Muslims intensively discussed about the nature of the heart the ruh, the aql, and the irada. Therefore, the study of the nafs is related to psychology, psychiatry, and neuroscience. Without the dedication and the commitment to science of the Islamic scholars of the 9th to the 14th century, who both preserved important scientific works and pushed forward the limits of mathematical and scientific knowledge, it's not at all clear that Western Europe will have become the world leader in science and technology and had that not been the case, it is unlikely that the United States, as we know today, will have inherited that leadership role. Many European scholars spend time in Spain translating Arabic work on various subjects. In the fields of astronomy, the Muslims built observatories which are first specialized astronomical institutions with their own scientific staff. Musa ibn Shakir discover, discovered that the heavenly bodies and the celestial spheres are subject to the same physical laws as the earth. In the fields of chemistry, the invention of the Muslims is remarkable. They invented many chemical processes and also they wrote extensive literature on the research of chemistry. It is very hard to mention chemistry without mentioning first the Muslims who formulated and laid the foundation of chemistry that is still being used and applied today.